Hello dogs, Little Dog right here right now. Welcome back to Age of Civilizations 2 playing as the Majapa hit. So, I'm probably finally gonna go back to a regular somewhat regular schedule. Hopefully. That's the plan for this week, anyways. Plan to hopefully do a lot of Age of Civilizations 2 videos. Specifically on finishing up my Majapa hit playthrough, and then we're gonna go into Oblivion for a while I'm hoping and then I'm probably gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do after that but anyways uh we are still at war with one of those Indian nations I think you go ahead and disband these three soldiers. Yeah, we're at war with these guys. And I'm hoping this episode we could try to end this war. Hopefully. I don't know how that's going to work out. We're probably going to be wasting a ton of troops on that. Uh, my objective for this episode is to conquer Papua New Guinea, defeat Papua. That shouldn't be too hard because they just became a monarchy recently. And hopefully get a good claim on the number one spot as most powerful nation. I have not played this in a couple weeks, so need to be need to remember where everything is. So two things are changing. One I'm using a different recording software for once. And a holy crap, that is the fastest the turn has ever went for me on a recording software. So I am now using a paid version of Bandcamp. It's great. It works well. Meaning I probably don't have to rely on Loilo or Freecam anymore. Moving up in the world finally. The second change is I'm finally going to be doing a lot of editing. A lot of it. At least the, more than I usually do. And so, I've got a bit of work cut out for me. I will probably still uh, upload unedited videos and stuff because I enjoy unedited videos. They're pretty cool. Maybe at some point I could get a uh, face cam up. Because Bandicam does have face cam support. I'm drinking some root beer at the moment. I just want the singular territory. You approached my territory. It's your fault we're in this war. Okay. Can we end this war now? Nope, the war's still not over. This is over a single piece of territory, by the way. And I do not have the capacity to have a massive naval invasion of a territory I don't really care about or probably am not going to invade at any point. So yeah. Australia is beginning to look interesting. The tribes are beginning to become monarchies. 
the heck is brushing up against my leg? Oh, that's the mouse cord. <laughs> um... Murray... Arente... Ar Arente... I think the Tiwi are the only ones who had a unique monarchy flag. I saw their flag change, and I found that pretty cool. I wish all native nations did that when they became monarchies. So. Ooh, we have somebody over here. Sweden! Oh! We got some Europeans over here. Not the ones I expected, though. The Majapa hit Swedish war. <laughs> Imagine! Alright. That's their army, right? Yeah, that's probably their army. So we're about to bash him at sea. Bam! I'll be back. Alright, sorry about that. My phone went off. I had to go see if it was important. It wasn't. Alright, now will you surrender that territory? There we go. We won. Bam. All right, we've all showed them that this is our territory. We'll not let anyone approach our territory. So then, now we have to work on assimilating the territory, unfortunately. Bam. Yeah, have to continue working on uh, assimilating everything. Yeah, might as well colonize this. Move these troops over here. And we're currently doing some work on uh, assimilating our uh, stuff here. Assimilate. Bam. Alright, we're about to invade Papua. This shouldn't be a particularly hard invasion because they only recently became a monarchy. Generally, tribal nations can get very powerful if left on their own, but this has been a relatively recent shift in the becoming a monarchy. Bam. And then we'll go ahead, divide our troops up, cover more ground, and then we'll also colonize that neutral territory down there. Bam. Bam. Yeah, I knew this war wasn't going to be particularly hard. And who is that? Haishi. That's up in China, isn't it? Mon Mongolia is having a great game. Yeah, here's the Haishi. How are they doing? They're doing pretty good. I guess it kind of helps when Ming is, you know, 
dead. <laughs> this is where Ming is left. Is this all Ming has now? <laughs> Ming got absolutely t demolished this game. Oh my gosh. I haven't been paying too much attention to what was going on in the, like, the rest of Asia and stuff. But it looks like Ming did not have a very good game. <laughs> I know Ming sometimes gets squashed, but I've never seen them get squished that badly. I've never seen them lose that badly. That is an atrocious loss for me in this game. Alright. So this territory. Bam! Alright, now we're gonna go ahead work on assimilating all these territories. Assimilate. 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 Alright, pretty much the island is ours now. We pretty much have mostly modern Indonesia borders. With uh, bits of. Uh... God, Malaysia? I don't want to sound stupid, but. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this island here. These islands here. Alright. We are getting close to 0 0.75. This is our territory. You cannot come over here. Yeah, ports have gotten very expensive now. Let's go ahead and assimilate. All right. Let's go ahead and move back here. We're going to keep a standing army since we now have the money to keep a standing army running. All right. We pretty much have quite a bit of naval dominance here. We're pretty powerful. I'm going to go ahead take I'm going to go ahead colonize the coastal regions first. That way No one can try and take any of my territories from me again. Bam, alright, now pretty much this entire island is mine. We can go ahead and assimilate. Did I assimilate this territory? Yeah, I did. Alright, we pretty much got all the territories over here assimilated. So now we have to work on our ports.
port. Okay, we now need a port here. Port. Getting tons of ports. Who's winning the wars over here in Japan? Uh. Looks like the Uisugi is doing pretty well. So are the Yamana. I think the Yamana and the Uisugi may be at war. Nope. The Yamana and the Uisugi are definitely going to collide at some point. We're getting a port here. Let's go ahead and get a port here. How much does the port cost here? Bam. And finally, this territory left for the port. Head back down. Uh. All right. Cool. So now, I'm thinking of focusing on research. I'm thinking on building up and taking a look at what the world looks like. Understanding what's going on in the world. Timurids seem to be having a good game. All the hordes are having really good games. Like, all of these hordes are having good games. Mongolia is having a good game. No guy is having a good game. Uzbek's not a horde. Pretty much no guy and Mongolia are having good games. The hordes are having some pretty good games this time around. So that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and focus on claiming the rest of this territory in here. Colonize. With a standing army, we should be quite powerful. Another territory. Done and dusted with. Okay, 
okay, which of these territories is cheaper? That territory right there. This territory right here is cheaper, I think. Unless this is. Yeah, this territory right here is the cheapest, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one next. Bam. Assimilate. Eighteen thousand here should be an easy snatch. Bam. Go ahead, wait another turn. Assimilate. Bam. Beast Treaty with that Indian Nation's over with, but I don't think it really matters considering how far apart we are. They're going to have some negative opinion on me for a while because I just ended a war with them over a single territory. Alright. And assimilate. Bam. We pretty much got all of our bases covered here. Let's take a look at our nation in this map mode. We're looking quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? All right. I would. Oh, wow! Looks like we have a massive power taking over in Australia. The Cory. The Cory just kicked some butt. I believe there are some nations over here and they just absolutely obliterated them. Wow! I would love to start calling on Australia, but. Sweden's colonization efforts, yeah, Sweden's colonization efforts is kind of getting a little bit worrying. Yeah, they have some ter- they've- they've been focusing on Oceania lately. So... Me and Sweden are probably going to have a massive colonization war out here in the Oceanic region. And as far as I can see, Sweden is currently the only one out here. Alright, well, we can worry about Sweden later on. So how str how good is Sweden? Yeah, they're rank 4. They're actually doing pretty good over in Europe. I wonder how Europe's doing. I don't really have any visuals over there in Europe, so can't really tell you what's going on. Alright, one more turn and... Colonization becomes extremely cheap for me. I may be the most technologically advanced nation here. Yeah. Sweden ain't even close. We got the Majapahit, the Pegu, the Koch, the Mamluks, Mawa. 
Yeah, I'm probably the most scientifically advanced nation right now. Colonization is about to become cheap. Research a bit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of our colonization efforts are going to be focused on Oceania and stuff. They're finally going to reach the good old 0 0.75 tech level. So, I'm probably going to explain this for people who are new to this video. Basically, you can colonize anytime you want, but it's going to be really expensive until you hit the required tech level. Depending on the it can be different depending on the scenario. And your colonization level can be lowered using technology. In fact, if you're preparing to go for a colonization run, I suggest going using your tech points going for colonization costs, which I have maxed out. I pay 15% less for colonies. But if you're a nation like, I believe, the Aztecs, if you're like a tribal nation, I suggest going for colonization cost and research speed. So you can get up to 0 0.75 and finally manage to expand your borders and build up some population. So is there really no one else out here in Oceania other than Sweden? Oh, we have Muscovy. Yeah, Muscovy's made some landings over here. They're probably hearing about my glorious empire over here. <laughs> Alright. So, hmm to begin our colonization effort. Alright, we're at 0 0.75 now. We can go ahead and uh, lower our research to about 15. Boom! Research is now so much cheaper. Your colonization, sorry. We can now expand so much more quickly than we used to. Alright, we are going to go ahead and get a port set up. Now we can get on and off the islands. Assimilate. 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 And... Well... I think our work for the most part is done. We're just making our way through these islands and stuff.
in Oceania. I think this is a good place. I'm going to leave it off. So, we've gotten a lot of work done. We've expanded our empire a little bit more. Looking beautiful so far. The next episode is probably going to be the last one. I'm going to say that now. The next one is probably going to be the last one. We're probably going to have a war with Sweden. We're probably going to begin colonizing Australia and stuff. And we'll continue expanding into Oceania, but pretty much I'm the dominant power down here. I'm very powerful. Mongolia is having a great game. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.